happening today, a group based in Fort Wayne is beginning its efforts to help with the refugee crisis in Afghanistan following the Taliban takeover of Kabul. A member of Catholic Charities will fly to Texas today. ABC 21's Tyler Brahma is at the Fort Wayne International Airport this morning with more details. Tyler, good morning. Yeah, hey there, Sam. Good morning. I know that this is obviously a situation that we've been monitoring very closely as things continue to develop really by the minute. Karen Bender with Catholic Charities is here with me this morning. Good morning to you. I know you're about to head to Texas to be able to potentially help out with uh, what's happening over there. What does this mean to you to be able to hopefully be on the front lines of what's happening? Well, for me, I'm a Catholic. I work at Catholic Charity, so it's what we're supposed to do is help other people who are in need. I learned it as I was a kid in Catholic grade school, so we're supposed to always help people who need help. And this is just an opportunity to help a lot of people who need a lot of help. Well, and I know that we've been seeing those images really come out by the minute mm -hmm. of what's happening in Afghanistan. Mm -hmm. uh, for you, what are some of the things that you'll be doing in Texas? Because I know you were telling me off camera moments ago that it's kind of still up in the air as far as what your role will be in this. So basically, I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. Um, some of the tasks are going to be picking people up at the airport and bringing them back to the base, um, processing, processing their paperwork. Um, they'll need cultural orientation. So pretty much the things that they would have done overseas, they're going to have to do here. Yeah, and I know with everything that's happening over there, I'm sure that being able to get a lot of that work done overseas is difficult right now. It would be nearly impossible. I think you've seen the visions at the airport, so it's really not possible. This is the only way they can probably do it. Yeah, and what does it mean for you just being able to help out with that? I know bringing these people over, it's going to be quite the process, um, one of the biggest efforts that our country has probably seen. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I have experience in refugee resettlement, so it's, it's, it's a field that I like a lot, so I'm glad I can help these people. Well, and as we look forward into the future, you know, not just today, not just tomorrow, but hopefully weeks from now, what is your hope with this crisis? I hope that, that people can have a little bit of peace. I know it's really difficult because a lot of people are leaving families behind. So at least if we can get some people to safety and, and help them out as much as we can. We just have to do what we can, basically. Absolutely. And the work that you're doing is just amazing. Karen, thank you so much for being here with mm -hmm. us this morning. I know you've got a flight to catch yeah. a bit later on this morning. <laughs> uh, she'll be getting on a plane heading to Texas. And as you heard her say, you know, exactly what she'll be doing. It's still kind of up in the air, of course. We will continue to keep you updated on what's happening in Afghanistan, as well as the efforts that Catholic Charities is putting in. But for now, Sam, I'll go and send it back to you there in the studio. We wish her luck on her journey. What amazing work she's doing. Tyler, thank you for that.